go over what I believe are some core fundamental principles that allow you to at least have a predictable shot shape that you can take to the golf course no matter how you feel that day, no matter if it's a lot of rough on the course, if it's a lynx course, if it's cold or if it's windy. I call it the premium setup. So when I get over my ball, I piston pivot, the shoulders, piston pivot, remember that? The shoulders work up and down in the golf swing. They don't work around. When you work your shoulders around, I'm gonna exaggerate. When you work your shoulders around, you hit the thread over the top. When your shoulders work up and down, you automatically shallow the club shaft out and you come from inside to out. So when I get over my ball, I piston pivot and put more weight on the target side. It closes my shoulders off. Here's a little tip. Remember, we have customization within the premium setup. So you can be extremely close or you can be a little bit close. I'm gonna give you a tip. It's easier to close the shoulders from the rear shoulder, okay? So if I just take my rear shoulder and just take my rear shoulder back, I follow me, I automatically piston pivot. The weight automatically goes to my target side and I feel I'm actually compressing the ball right now. Even before I hit the ball, I feel I'm already compressing the ball and ready to hit a nice tight draw. This premium setup is going to allow you to have a predictable shot shape. Remember how the rear arm works. It doesn't work like a bicep curl. It works like a hammer curl. See the difference? The hammer curl. That's another thing that I promote. Let the arm work like a, like a hammer curl. Jackie Burke said it best though. He said this point the shaft, the club, feel like you're pointing the club shaft down the same way you're going. If you do that, that's a hammer curl. Look, hammer curl, hammer curl. Okay, so those are two principles that I maintain. Another one of my principles is maintaining club head speed by getting my club head speed out front and finishing strong. So I don't try to get my club head speed down here at the bottom. I try to get my club head speed out in front of me. And the, the way I do that is by Mach 3 speed and conditioning. And I just take swings and make sure I'm getting the club head speed out in front of me. If you do those things right there, I guarantee you, you're going to start playing some consistent golf. Then we can start working on some other factors. Everybody know how I like extending through the ball. The way I extend through the ball is to feel like I'm reaching toward the target. The brachial radialis is the big muscle in the forearm, and I just let that turn toward the target. These are things that I work on in my golf swing. These are things that I give my clients because if, even the people that say they don't have a method, they have a method. But I do teach golf, but I still have a method to my madness. I have certain things that I like seeing the player get into. I got indicators I like looking at. In the swing, I like making sure the shaft is shallowing out and is in line with the forearm. The shaft, the rear forearm relationship. That's something I look for when I'm looking at my clients and I can improve that, I can improve their ball striking. So there's little things that I look for, but the things that I really want you to work on to say, hey, let me give this a try. You can play traditional golf. I play traditional golf some days, some days I play from a premium setup, okay? Here's the difference. When I'm playing traditional, when I'm playing traditional golf, I have to make sure that my swing path is perfect. I have to tell myself I'm hitting a draw. I'm hitting a fade. I'm trying to hit the ball straight, okay? And long as I tell myself that, I pull the shots off. When I'm playing from a premium setup, I pick a target out about one to two yards to the right and hit that standard baby draw, like clockwork. Boom, 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 boom. Which one would you rather do? We get bored out here and start tinkering and fooling with things, you know? But guess what I just realized? I realized out of my, left, my last 17 rounds, I only have five bogeys. You know why? Because I play from the premium setup and I'm playing consistent golf. I'm, get, I'm taking what the, golf court get, what the golf course gives me. I'm not being greedy. When the, when the pin is on the left-hand side, I'm being aggressive. When the pin is on the right-hand side, I'm just going for the center of the green and two putting out of there. I'm leaving myself, you know, where I can get nice bumping runs. Build you a golf game that you can trust, okay?
Give me them set up, baby. Let's go up here and check these out. You saw what I did. I piston pivot. I put the weight on the target side. And then I trusted it. And both those balls was tight spirals. About a one yard to two yard draw. And look at them. Both these balls are sitting up here gorgeous. That's why I play from the premium setup. That's why no matter what I'm working on, I always come back to the premium setup. It may not look like I'm in the premium setup because like I said, I have worked on my swing path extremely hard where I don't have to be as closed. But anytime I'm having like a, you know, a couple of bad shots, the first thing I do is go back to my core fundamental principles and I make sure that I piston pivot I have more weight on the target side, and I'm getting that speed out front and finishing strong like Ted Rhodes. So, hey, folks, keep grinding. I hope this pro tip helped you today. I hope it encourages you to get back into the premium setup. Build it. Build a swing that you can count on. Take care.